Ladies and gentlemen, members and friends, it's Matt Bailey here, your branch director and national ambassador for the SNWS here in Australia. We have a really special Vaults collection release coming out in December this year. It's our big one for December, our Christmas release, if you like, of our really special Vaults collection. Uh, a Vaults collection is for us at the Society represents the absolute pinnacle, the top of the food chain, our oldest and rarest offering. And this is potentially one of the oldest and rarest casts ever offered up by the SNWS. And we've got a really special opportunity to share a small allocation around in Australia. So each Vaults collection comes in a wooden box with a metal clasp here. We'll just open that up and I'll reveal what this is for December. It is of course 24.163, a wizard's spell. Now, there's only a smidge left in this bottle because we featured it at Sydney Whiskey Fair where it was a hit at the VIP bar. And it also got featured at a special event uh, upstairs here at Melbourne Whiskey Room, which was hosted by your Victorian state manager, Alex Moores. Now, there's only a tiny smidge left in the bottle for me to taste this and tell you a bit more about it. So let's pull that into the glass, let that open up just for a moment. Just a, a small taste here. Uh, it's just about 10, 15 mils in there. Um, out to one of 595 bottles, a full sherry maturation, 25th of September, 1989, deep rich and dried for its profile, wizard spell, distillery 24. Uh, the Elchies, the East Elchies distillery, I could probably say that without getting in too much trouble, but this is a distillery 24, which is known by members for being a hallmark of sherried uh, whiskey maturation. They know how to do sherried whiskey best uh, and this is a 31 year old single cask cast strength expression of that 31 of of that distillery i should say of distillery 24. the nose is instantly transports you to another time and place in whiskey what sherry maturation smelled like in the 80s it's a time capsule whiskey it is a it's a piece of sherried whiskey history uh, from a distillery that honestly needs no introduction. It's probably the most well-known single malt brand on earth, um, up there in the top three at the very least. Um, and for us to be able to, we've bought a, a bunch of, uh, recently we've seen a, a bunch of 12 year old sherry whiskies from this distillery, which some members will know and would have seen things like uh, sherry confe uh, sher Confessions of a Sherry Cask, I should say, and uh, Tapas Bar in Seville, some recent releases, but a wizard spell represents a 31 year old uh, from this distillery. And let's just have another nose of that. It immediately, it's like old prunes, leather couch, like apricot juice, rich sort of like like a wine uh, like a like a a wine roux, like lamb sauce. There's a lot of life in that spirit for something that's been sitting in sherry for 31 years. You've got to appreciate age in whiskey for a moment here as well. Most whiskey, uh, you know, most whiskey mature, finds its maturity point between eight to 14 years of age uh, in oak. Uh, any whiskey that goes even beyond sort of 15, 16, 17 years of age has to be carefully managed so as not to be over oaked. You can have an under matured whiskey just as you can have an over matured whiskey. So for a whiskey to sit in a sherry cask, an Oloroso sherry cask for 30 plus years uh, is a true testament to the quality of that cask and the length of its maturation holding it together. It could have been bottled as a 30 year old maybe, but it just needed even a little bit longer, 31 year old in this case. Which represents, I think the oldest we've bottled from this distillery thus far, which is very exciting. Like rich wine and lamb sauce, old pressed flowers, like a, an old dictionary, like a 1800s dictionary, the pages from that book, old publishing paper. A mm, lot of life in that. There's rich brown sauce, heaps of sherry. It's a, a that's a truly sort of transmorphative experience, if that's even a word. That just, that, that takes me to another time and place in whiskey altogether. Also, I should just say, and I, I'm gonna have some bias here, but it's tremendous value considering what a 30 year old expression from this distillery would actually cost. Uh, so it's a tremendous value also to have something that cast strength from 31 years of age. 
This is probably one of the rarest releases we'll ever see at the Society, and it's really exciting to be able to share this with you uh, for something really special this Christmas 2022. Um, so if you want to finish your year on a bang and open something really special, say on New Year's Eve, this might be just the one you're looking for. Sanjava, I'm going to enjoy this nice and slowly. Have a great afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.